close your eyes, take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing process in the body. Focus your attention there. And then notice if the breath is comfortable. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change it. Try it shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. See what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. And if the mind wanders off, bring it right back. Try to be quick in catching it when it wanders off, because it is used to wandering. That's the nature of the mind. In other words, samsara. They call it the round every birth. What actually literally means the wandering on. That's the nature of the mind. It keeps wandering. It's not satisfied here, so it goes someplace else. Then it's not satisfied there, it goes someplace else. What you're trying to do as you meditate is create a satisfying place right here, right now, by the way you breathe, by the way you talk to yourself. And it's important that you get to stay right here. Because right here is where your mind is shaping things. And as the basic principle of the teaching is, that the reason we suffer in life is not so much because of things outside, but because of things the mind is doing. Its own craving, its own clinging, its own misunderstanding of things. And so we end up doing things, even though we want to do things that lead to happiness and well-being, we end up doing things that lead to suffering. We want to see that. And we learn that a lot of it comes from our own lack of skill. So we have to develop skill in how we look, how we listen, how we engage with all of our senses. Because if we don't, we're just going to keep on suffering and then going to wander on and create some more suffering again and again. This is why the Buddha recommended that you think about death. Not to get you depressed, but to remind yourself that you don't have much time. And you don't know how much time you do have, even if you do live to a hundred years. By the end of a hundred years, everything seems so short. Where did it go? It all disappeared. So you want to make sure that your time isn't wasted. You can develop good qualities in the mind. You can be generous. You can be virtuous. It's one of the reasons why we take the precepts every week, to remind ourselves that it's important that you behave in a way that's harmless to other people, harmless to yourself. And we train the mind in meditation. We see how it goes wandering out, and you ask yourself, where are you going? Are you looking for trouble? How about staying right here for, for, for a while, making right here a good place to be? And that way the mind gets to know itself, because when it's wandering on, all it knows about is the, the things it sees as it wanders. It's like someone who travels around and keeps taking pictures of this, pictures of that, and that's all they see is the things outside themselves. They don't see themselves. But when you learn how to see yourself, learn how to watch yourself, that's when you begin to realize, well, this is how I make mistakes. This is how I act in ways that I think are going to lead to happiness, but end up leading, leading to pain. I don't have to act in those ways. So get the mind right here where you can see it, where you can observe it. That way you overcome the ignorance that leads to suffering. And when the mind isn't causing itself any suffering, then there's no suffering any place else that's going to weigh, weigh it down. As the Buddha said, all our good qualities come from heedfulness, reminding ourselves that our actions do make a difference. Our states of mind do make a difference. If you're careless, you can cause trouble. If you're careful, if you're observant, you can avoid that trouble, you can avoid those dangers. So it's worth putting energy into watching yourself. When you really understand yourself, that solves all the problems in the world. There are a lot of things out there you may not understand, but the big problem in life is that you don't understand yourself. So take some time to get to know yourself, get to know what's going on inside. And you realize that you have the potential to change your ways, to make them skillful 24-7.